you could say black holes are playing drums out there. Space time is the drum and the black holes are the mallets. So this is the event that was recorded first by LIGO, the collision of two black holes. Each one was about 30 times the mass of the sun. They were 1.3 billion light years away when they collided. And it's something for many, many years people have known that black hole collisions would make this kind of chirp. What happens is as they get faster in their final orbits and closer together, the gravitational sound sweeps up in frequency. And you can actually hear it chirp upward. And you can even hear, if you slow it down, a kind of blobbly ring down as the final black hole forms and sheds off its imperfections. Everything we know about the universe comes to us from light. It might be from radio waves or x-rays or gamma rays or visible light, but all of it is a form of light. Because black holes are dark, it means we can't see them if they're alone. The only things we ever see are stars orbiting darkness, or we see the black hole tearing apart a neighboring star. You could sort of think of a tornado as being like that. Tornado's invisible unless it picks up tracers. Unless it picks up cows and barns and dirt and dust, you can't actually see the tornado. If you are a sci-fi fan and you like to criticize movies, then if somebody were floating outside of the space capsule screaming, you would not hear a sound because there's technically no sound in space. Sound is really modulations of air. Gravitational waves are kind of a loophole around that because they're the ringing of the shape of space itself. Because black holes are dark, it means we can't see them if they're alone. And we can't see two black holes. We think that there are pairs of black holes that form at the end as death states of stars and orbit each other for billions of years, eventually getting closer and closer and colliding. But we'll never see that with a telescope because it doesn't have tracers. But instead, what the black holes do is they churn up literally the shape of space and time around them. You can imagine like fish swirling in a pond creating waves in the water. And they're not visible because it's not a form of light, but if you were floating nearby, you would be squeezed and stretched by the passing of this ripple in the shape of space time. It's like ringing a drum in vacuum. You wouldn't really hear it, but if you could record the shape of the ringing drum, you would play it back a sound. So that's kind of what LIGO is doing. It's recording the shape of the ringing drum, and then it's playing it back to us through the recording mechanism of the machine itself. So the irony is that black holes get loud and bright, and this is counter to what the black hole is fundamentally, which is dark and quiet. We've had this silent movie of the universe since Galileo. It's like we've turned up the volume on the universe. We've turned up a soundtrack.